Thank you to Nordace for sponsoring. More on them later. We are going to talk about the art of correspondence today on the channel in celebration of Victoria's new book under the same title. And I'm also going to be sharing with you my pen pal routine. So stay tuned. I'll write to you, a super long letter, like in an old-fashioned novel. Haruki Murakami, After Dark. The proper definition of a man is an animal that writes letters. Lewis Carroll. To write is human. To receive a letter, divine. Susan Lendroth. I wanted to share three of my favorite letter writing quotes with you. As we celebrate Victoria's latest edition in their Art of series, The Art of Correspondence, which offers inspiration for creating meaningful connections through writing letters. This book is full of personal reflections, tips for letter writing, explorations into stationery, sealing wax, ink pots, and more. It is full of delights and will get you so excited about writing letters again. I love how Victoria's books are full of beautiful photography, thought-provoking quotes, and reflections on the beauty of life. I hope you enjoyed that preview of The Art of Correspondence. I will leave the book linked down below. It is so special. It'd make a wonderful treat for yourself if you love the lost art of letter writing or a wonderful gift for someone else, especially for Mother's Day coming up or anybody that you know that loves writing letters. So today I wanted to share my own pen pal routine with you because I have several pen pals. This is a practice that I picked up a while ago and my pen pal list has grown and it is one of the most enriching parts of my personal life. These friendships that I have with people that develop over letters and they're so meaningful. And so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Maybe you had a pen pal as a child and you remember that excitement from getting a letter in the mail from your pen pal. I can tell you that it only gets better as an adult. So here's my routine. When I receive a letter from my pen pal, I will save it. I don't like usually open it up immediately, but I'll save it for either tea time or a time where I can be alone and just really focus on the letter because it's such a treat to open up a letter from a friend. It really is a gift. So I will open up the letter and I'll read it. I'll take it all in. After that, I don't usually write them back right away unless it's really pressing. But what I do like to do is make note of the things that I want to respond to in their letter. And on my computer, I have a file that has my letters that I write to my friends, my pen pals. And so what I usually do in that file is they each have their own folder and then I will write down what I wanted to respond to in their letter. Because typically I don't get to write it right away, but I want to respond to their questions. And so I'll just jot it down quickly, a little note so that I don't forget. I think a lot of people are unsure about writing to pen pals or friends because they think, what am I going to say? You know, <laughs> it's like we all follow each other on social media. They know everything going on in my life. It's nice to do this because it really helps you write back to them. Usually your friend might ask you a question or maybe they wrote something that you want to respond to. So just jot down a few notes on this document. So here's what I do. And this may seem weird to you, but I like to compose my letter on my laptop first. So I'll write it out on my computer and save it. And then when it comes time to write the letter, I can just focus on copying down what I wrote on my laptop. And here's why I do this. Because number one, my handwriting is not that good. 
and I have to really focus when I'm writing on making my writing legible. <laughs> you know, I'm an author and authors notoriously have messy handwriting, right? Authors and doctors. So I am really focused on making my words legible and presentable as much as I can. And so often the other reason I do this is because I type really fast. I type as fast, almost as fast as I can think. So I'm able to write it down. But if I'm just composing a letter by hand, I am writing really slowly so that my words are legible. And then I might forget what I was going to say. The composition of the letter is not as nice as I would want it to be. So for me, this really works. And it might work for you if you are a bit wary to write letters by hand. Another reason why this is good is because you can remember what you said to your pen pal. And sometimes before I started doing this, I would think, did I already tell them that story? Or what did I tell them last time? I can't remember like what their current updates are. So it's just nice to have that in the file to look back on. Another reason why this is good is so that you can remember if you responded to them or not. This is something else that would happen to me when I first began writing letters is that I would receive their letter and then I couldn't remember if I wrote back. And if you have multiple pen pals, this might happen to you, where I would think, did I write them back? And then you don't wanna contact them and say, did you get my letter, you know? On the file on my computer, I put the date and when the letter was sent so that I can remember if I responded or not. So keeping a file on your computer is something that I really recommend if you have multiple pen pals or if you struggle from any of those things that I mentioned. Before we dive into the rest of the subject of the art of correspondence, I wanted to tell you about Nordays who have kindly sponsored today's video. As travel season approaches, and you'll likely be venturing far and wide to send postcards to your friends, Nordace are the perfect traveling bags to bring on your journey. Nordace bags provide everything you need all in one sleek bundle. Say goodbye to mismatched gear and hello to the completely chic, ready for anything kit. This is the Sienna Pro 15 Essentials Set. The smart backpack has a spacious main compartment to hold all your daily and travel essentials, including protection for your laptop with lots of organizational pockets. There's an anti-theft pocket at the back to protect you from pickpockets. It also has a USB charging port, key leash, Fleece line pocket for sunglasses. There's so many wonderful features to this bag. I love that you can loop the backpack over your luggage, giving your back a break while traveling. It's comfortable and provides lots of support. I will definitely be bringing this on the plane with me when we travel to England this year. They also have these wonderful matching cases that are so spacious, they can expand or contract as you need them to, and they hold so many things. This would make the perfect gift for a travel enthusiast in your life, or if you want to upgrade your own luggage. Save 20% on Nordace bags with my link down below. So how do you find a pen pal? <laughs> what do you do? I have a few options for you. The first one is to write to the people in your life already. Send a letter to a friend of yours, even if they only live an hour away. I've done this many times. I've written to my friends that live in Los Angeles who are really close to me, San Diego. They don't have to be far away from you to write a letter. They could even live in the same town. So write a letter to one of your friends today and don't tell them it's coming, just surprise them with it. And some of them might write back. All of my friends write back to me and we have this lovely correspondence with each other. So you do that with friends or family. Also, I want to plug the Chic Society, which is my private membership group here on YouTube because we have a pen pal program and there are over 1200 people writing to each other in the Chic Society from all around the world and it's pretty incredible. So I'll leave my Chic Society information down below. But that's another way to find a pen pal is joining a club like that. And it's nice to find like-minded people who love beautiful living because you have a lot to talk about. So that's the best way um, to do it. Another way that could start a beautiful correspondence is to send postcards to your friends and family. And I love doing this when I'm in England. I'm always writing postcards and sending them back home to people. 
And writing postcards is also another lost art. I feel like people used to do this a lot back when I was a kid. It was very common to get a postcard. I would always get them from my grandma or when my parents went on vacation, they would write me a postcard when I was in college. You know, it's just so lovely to get one of those. If you want to get into the letter writing mood, there are so many volumes of books published on famous letters. I have that book of Henry James's letters that has like over a thousand letters in it that I'm still working my way through. And I find it so fascinating. I just finished a book on Emily Dickinson's letters. I have so many letter books where famous people in the past had their letters published. I have this quote here from Henry James, uh, and this is actually from one of his letters. So he writes, in the good old world, one's mornings are sacred. That is my letter writing time. And he wrote so many letters. So I guess he would write them in the morning. So another tip would be to write them at the same time. I like to set aside uh, certain days to write letters. Often I'll do this on a Sunday, but sometimes I'll do it at tea time on another day because I do find it to be a very relaxing ritual. I like to put on music and sit down and write, and it's something that really feeds my soul. I love it. Okay, so you know how much I love writing poetry for you, and I did write a poem called Letters that I am going to read to you now. On days I feel gloomy, I go to check the post. There could be a letter which would be welcome most. Sometimes advertisements and sometimes there are bills, but maybe, just maybe, today there will be thrills. The key goes in the lock, I open the door wide, stick my hand in lightly and pull out what's inside. Sift through the usual, I don't see what I want, but then something sticks out, gold sealing wax and font. I practically skip home, gloominess forgotten, run upstairs, bolt my door so no one can barge in. I take in every word and the stationery, smiling all the while, good tidings it carries. There's nothing quite like them, for they the heart do mend, no nothing brings more mirth than letters from a friend. I hope that you enjoyed my poem. I hope that you pick up the art of correspondence. I will leave it linked down below. And thank you so much to Nordace for sponsoring today's video. Save 20% on Nordace bags with my link down below. Thank you so much for watching today, everyone. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.